Craziest job, fight on Steve Wilkos. And my thing is, man, if your daughter can't go to school, she can't get a job, but she has time for all these damn mm -hmm. text messages. Mm -hmm. Get your ass in school, get a job, try to do something productive. This is crazy. I had sex with my student. You should be in jail then. Hey, let me see if I got it right. You punk ass bitch. Don't talk to me like I'm some kind of little kid. Please get out of my way. Um, clarify. I have to clarify it. First of all, uh, I love the way you're charging and you think, well, what are you going to do? School me? Are you gonna you gonna throw me a beating? Your 18 years of street experiences, you gonna tangle with this cat? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Give me the chance. Oh, keep rolling. You bitch! I swear to God, you. No, that man that your daughter loves so much took a lie detector test before the show, and the young man that's so honest with the girl he loves, he was asked, "Have you had sexual intercourse on more than five times?" But no. Cody didn't tell the truth. She's gonna stay with me. You know me. what? You don't have to yell through the television. You could actually go back there and yell at him. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done with Cody and Destiny. They could get the hell out of my studio right now. Man, it only takes one useless or unintelligent abuser to get Steve Wilkos angry. And in this clip, he went full ballistics. And while he did make fun of the guy, the guy knew he wouldn't sit down and let someone make fun of him, especially not Steve Wilkos. I, I gotta ask you, and, and, and may, maybe I'm a little emotional today, because my son started school today. It was his first day of school. Uh -huh. And I was proud. Like, oh, my little boy, right, that's right. I, yeah, thank you, thank you for that. What if that's your child that you're talking about, man? <laughs> Can we sit? No, we're not going to sit. Ah. I'm trying to do everything I can to keep nah, my cool. Nah, nah, you being an ass and taking sides, that's what you're doing. So here, you want to sit up? I'm a clown. I do this every show. I, oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Every show. I'm, I'm glad I'm a clown. Thank you. Thank you. This young woman's name is Brenyelle. Brenyelle. Let's bring her back out. What is happening? I can't let you go. Yes, I can't let you hit her. I can't let you hurt somebody. Come with me. I want to do the show, okay? I want to do the show and I want to talk to you. You just had a baby. Yes. You can't come running out and be mad at anybody and attack anybody. You can't do it. You know what you got to go through life now? I, 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 he does deserve it. I got to think about my children and go home to them tonight. <laughs> well, I broke my chair, so I need to sit down on the edge of the stage with you. You come out, you attack him? He deserved it, because he, he knew what he was getting himself listen, into when he first slept with me. He knew. But listen. He knew everything. Whether people deserve things or whatever, what's right and wrong, sometimes you got to do what's best for your children. That's the point here. Yeah. Seth, you are the father for that child. Once a clown was present on the show, and while Steve spoke with him and admitted his anger at the clown, the clown went ahead to do childish things. Steve wasn't going to have that, and Steve also doesn't allow violence on his stage. Um, no. Now you know the truth. And I'll say this. You knew the I'm having nightmares that my dad great me. That's 14, crazy. 15 years ago, you knew the truth. And what held you back in those 12 years was not because you couldn't find her. No. You didn't want to find her. Hey, this is your daughter. This is your flesh and blood. You let this girl down. You destroyed her at seven and you let her out in the world to be abused by anything and everything. And my daughter. When you're on all no. those drugs, you ain't looking no. at her like your daughter. No, no. You are, that, you are that, weak, that, that's not even, pathetic. That's not even there. You're no. sick, uh -uh. No. but you're still mm -hmm. a for what you did to her. No. Why do you think this is the reason why some men find sexual gratification in children? Realistically, they should all be sentenced to maximum years in prison or, you know, having their dangling modifiers cut off. Especially this one who annoyed Steve so much. And in the usual Steve fashion, he chased the abuser off the stage, but it didn't end there. I know 
Has Steve Wilco ever gone to like a fist fight on stage? I want to see that. I did not hear yeah, that. You do not hear that. You know what? You know what I said? Yeah. Tell me something here. Do not give me whatever. And the guy that you sleep with. Were my daughters starved, burned, and molested your grandchild? It hurts. It's, I don't understand why. Do you, what the f I What the hell happened in the back? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Did and you watched, the huh? Out of my face. Failed for allowing her ex to sexually. What the <laughs> fuck? Can you get the camera out of my face? No, please? this is a TV studio. I... Get out of my studio and don't ever come back. Get your ass and wherever you came from. You don't sleep with her? No. She's under the wrong impression. Has been in a one and a half year long relationship with a sick. Too many Trust people me, sleeping with I minors. Have, like a couple times, yeah. <laughs> Sex and drugs. Out. Yeah, but those. Then are get like... your ass out of my chair. You have you have no feeling of what's right and wrong. That's despicable as a man to you use a what? child. I don't even care about the light. I know you, I know you don't care. I'm... You had sex with the child. So all I can hope is one day you wake up and you will stop being a menace to society. You that you contribute. I'm not you are a menace. Okay. Get the hell off my... Yeah, you're not killing anybody. You're sleeping with underage kids. That's also I crazy. Stay. He admitted it too. Without really having any Live knowledge on air. In context, it's always easy to guess why Steve's angry at some of these people, especially abusive guys or negligent women. Pull your pants down, bitch! You're I'm gonna be with your girlfriend after the show. The point was you busting you in your mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm standing here waiting. You beat her. You did it. And you know what? You can stand up here and cry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where were you going? Hey, because hey, you had a hey, fur head. Shut the, the hell shut up. up. You want to find out if I'm way up in your throat? Then shut up. Let me. Let me. Oh, he's gonna what hear the it next day. You scrawny little. I don't use it myself, but I'm telling you, your Scooby-Doo underwear for the show. <laughs> hey, Joey, do me a favor, okay? Seriously, I, I voice, I find this amusing. It entertains me. Because you're a bad guy, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Certainly don't want any trouble. <laughs> Those are my chairs, young man. Young man. <laughs> driving me crazy. Just it's call. driving me Take crazy. It it's Don't driving me off. crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. Who threw that ball? This is my. I wonder if anybody has ever just like they're right, they're right here, right? Have they ever just swung on them? So what? You don't pull nothing up on my mom. I would crash through the wall. Find no way up the wall. Good enough for your son, right? Should be good enough for you, right? Oh, I chair. thought he kicked the baby. All day, all day. You ain't scared me. You faced me. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Swing. Yeah. Throw that chair. Yeah. As a former police officer, it's really hard to guess that Steve hates abusers and hates them whenever and wherever they try to pull one over on him. Juana, you came here and you took a lie detector test. I asked you. Did you ever witness Marcus hit or physically abuse your daughter? Did you know your daughter had any injuries before you left for work that day? You answered no. You told the truth. Did you cause any of those injuries to your daughter? You answered no. And you told the truth. Marcus came here and took okay. a lie detector test. Did you fabricate the story about accidentally tripping with your daughter in your arms? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Really? Yo. Say I not. Know you
You threw a baby on the ground? So at the time in question, you want to hear all of them. At the time in question, were you under the influence of any drugs when your daughter was injured? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. So what drug was on the D? I don't know. Did you hit your six-month-old daughter? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. No. Your daughter is blind in one eye My daughter is because of you. Because of who? Because He blinded this woman's... Yo, he needs to be arrested! You, 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 me, man, you, you gotta take it, your daughter's I'll blind in one I'll eye for man. the rest of her life. What? what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? You gonna pick me up? I'm right here! I'm right here! I'm not six so months old! Yeah. Yeah. I'm a grown ass man! You ain't get off me, bro. Get off me, bro. Get off me. I just hit my You to my daughter. And oh, she's, yeah, she's, now. Oh, she's yo, blind baby. now because of you. Oh, you better be glad these guys are here. You better be glad. Oh, wait, please. You better be you. glad. Okay. How could you hurt your own child? Sir, first of all, first of all, I never hurt my child. Let's get the, 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 the test ain't gonna lie, stupid. You got the right yeah. in prison. Stay y'all bitch ass. I'm supposed to paint both of y'all hoes. Marcus brought his terrible attitude to the show, and after the truth was revealed, Steve knew that he was a bad dude. Steve wasn't ready to let him slide off the case that easily, and he chose to go head to head with Marcus. Children no, 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 no. My kids wouldn't do that. I was there for my freaking kids. I homeschooled. The children have been displaying highly sexual behavior. Yo, and Matt, yo. Once you get, st that guy has to go in jail, right? He just threw a baby on the ground, and now that baby's half blind. Like one, she can't see from one eye. Yo, like, like what? He's gonna get fucked well. in prison. You fed your kids taken away for over a year. You took a lie detector before the show in the hopes yeah. of clearing your name. I want to meet your husband. Kids made some complaints. They, they, they stretched the truth beyond. Why would a kid want to lie about their mommy and daddy if everything's fine at home? I, CPS I, I Virginia goes in and takes kids because they just feel like it. They want to teach you how to be <laughs> parents. Well, I mean. Why would your kids lie? I don't know. Did, I they, mean, did, I'm they, did they love you? Yeah. Let's bring your wife back out. Kelly's test results. Did you ever keep either of your children in a cage? And you answered no. No. Did you ever refuse no. to feed either of your children? Never. And you answered no. And on Never. that part, you did not tell the truth. That's bull. You failed it. I don't care if they, they deny their food. Results for shame. <sighs> Did you ever physically harm either of your children? Did you ever refuse to feed either of your children? And the results of that are you did not tell the truth. Y yeah. You're going to leave my state. Yeah, okay. I'm you know what? Get off my I don't get why these people go on their shows. You know you lied and you still on go on these shows to prove that you didn't lie. You know what I'm saying? Like You're just there to embarrass yourself. You know, like, what's the point of going on this show voluntarily? Stage. Goodbye. The kids of this couple are someday going to be grateful that Steve called out their evil parents because what parent locks their kids in a cage? You did not tell the truth. That Damn. taps is lying. You were lying. No, I'm not. You were no, two little man. girls. No, I didn't. I did. yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do I didn't do nothing. She's not lying. Yes, yes. You lied. No, I'm not. You lied. No, I'm she not. Lies. You're making these two little girls. I didn't do nothing. Day. Whatever. You Whatever. You got your hands off of me. I didn't I'm going to allow rapists to go at the woman. Yeah. You want to charge the mother. Whatever. You're lying. Whatever. Your Can you say something? Your pants is a lie. Sick bastard. What are you gonna do? Beat her up for telling the truth? What are you gonna do? If I don't stop you, what are you gonna do to her? You gonna beat her up? And you're lying about the test. I'm not lying about the test. Yeah, you are. You I'm staying right here. Put your hands on me now. I'm not putting my hands on you. Put your hands on me. You what? Touch me Charge again, her one I more will. time. I Charge will her. If you touch oh, you know me what? Again. Let's go back on stage. Let's go. And I wanna see you make that mad gas for this woman again. She's Wait, a liar. You know, you know you're lying. Charge her! Whatever. Point her. Whatever!
It's always refreshing to see Steve fight back, especially in this clip. He doesn't always do this, but he was determined to help the woman escape her abusive relationship and boyfriend through any means necessary. He busts my lips to give me black eyes. It was a time where he done choked me and picked me up in the air and dropped me. Did you hit your girlfriend in the face three days ago while she was holding your one-month-old son? Yep. You fucking idiot. Go to jail. She put her hands on me. She's holding your son, and you punch her in the face, and you split her mouth. Smack, dude. One of them. Yo, there's something wrong with you. You you blatantly proud and admit that on live TV. Look at his face. Look at look at look at Steve's face, bro. Are you Steve, fucking? Bro, what, what is it? Steve? Okay, you're yeah, not that's okay. my name. Come on, man. What else you got to say? What else do I got to say? Punk. Ain't when you, nothing punk about me. Yeah, let me boy. tell you something. Nah, you ain't gonna let you me hold, tell you You something. hit the mother of your child, you danger. Male, female. What kind of animal are you when you would hit a woman? What happened if she dropped your baby? Then I'm gonna pick him up and put him on the bed. Don't touch me. I'm not gonna touch you. We're not, talk talk we're not talking about some stranger walking down the street. You split her mouth open if your son fell and cracked his head open. What when do you I, think would I happen to her, your son? When I smacked her the other day, the bed was right there. So... Ain't no possible way he could have fell and hit his head on that. Or, yo, he has had some brain damage. Oh, he he has to. You that. don't run the show. Okay, I run you this don't tonight, run I do. You ain't doing oh, anything. Oh, yeah, tonight I do. I this tonight. Listen. No, I ain't no listen. You listen. You look the way, scared of the way, you by a long shot. The way you're shot. acting, the only no, thing that you're running you're is your mouth. No, you running you your understand? mouth. I'm telling you, don't do it again. You don't do it again. Simple as that. I'm, hey. Hey, what? Listen, hey, punks what? don't tell me what to do. Do you understand? Just Get this piece of off my stage. What's the most unique thing about this clip is the fact that despite having to endure such an abusive and intolerant relationship with this guy, the lady who's been a victim for several years still wouldn't want him to go away. That's kind of a tough spot for Steve. Yo, that's fucking crazy. Yo, Steve needs to stop him from like, from that woman from going back ever, bro.